To our main event this evening, though, and Jamie Moore gets a European title shot at last. Is Ed Robinson. The wait's finally over for Jamie Moore, with a long overdue shot at the European title against former world champion Michele Picciarillo. I'm extremely excited. I've been waiting for, yeah, I'd, I'd say three years, you know, since I um, since won, won my Lonsdale belt outright. And I know I'm going to have to be at my best to beat him, uh, but, you know, I'm 100% confident I can do that. It's by far the most significant fight of Moore's sensational roller coaster career. Jamie! in a domestic dust-up we'll talk about all year. Both guys are well rated in the WBC and the winner of that will jump into the top half, top four or five, I believe. I'm really confident that, you know, I can do a really good job on him and if I do, then it should shoot me right of the world ratings and it shouldn't be long before I'm fighting for a world title. And Moore's fully prepared to take his chance. Conditioner Kerry Kay's adding the power to trainer Oliver Harrison's finesse. With their progress monitored by the scientists, at Salford University's sports department. I feel absolutely unbelievable, I feel like a machine, and I um, just can't, can't wait to go now. He'll need to produce a special performance to overcome Picciarillo, a veteran who once beat Corey Spinks to rule the world. I'm going to have to take it to him and um, see who's got the biggest start, and then I'm sure I'll prevail. Another more thriller is virtually a given. It's got all the makings of a, of a great fight, and like, like you say, I'm really in a dull fight, so um, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be a belter. Let's hope so. Ricky, a genuine world-class opponent for Jamie Moore. Very much so. I mean, he's only been beaten by world-class opponents. And uh, we have to be honest, at the minute, Jamie's had some wonderful fights and wonderful wins, but it has been at domestic level. This is another step up. But he has, when he has fought the world, the world class, he has come unstuck. And Jamie's improving with every single fight, as far as I can see. And I really do fancy Jamie tonight. Does it worry you, though, that, like you say, a big jump up in class? Um, not really. Um, I mean, we've all got to take the jump up in, in class sooner or later. I think if Jamie gets in his face and presses him and sets a hot pace, obviously he's very, very similar in styles to former opponent Michael Jones, really, so he'd have definitely done his homework. He's probably watched them tapes and, and learnt from that. But I think the time is just right now. It's been a long time in the making, hasn't it? It has been a long time in the making, but now is the right time. He's, been, he's had a couple of fights with that niggling shoulder injury, and uh, now that's been... Now that's away from his mind. He's had a little bit of a break. He'll be as fresh as a day is in. You can see he's prepared fantastic. Picciarillo has certainly got the credentials. He certainly have. I mean, what do you think? Collie Spinks, Mayorga, uh, people like that, uh, Vernon Forrest. Jamie hasn't boxed in that class yet, but the move up, I think, is very much um, is well capable of doing. Great atmosphere here in Wigan. Commentary team, Adam Smith and Jim Watt. First to a man who knows what it's like to share the ring with Jamie Moore, our MC, Gary Logan. Good evening, my fans, and a warm welcome to viewers at home. Join us live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night from the Robin Park Arena here in Wigan. You now join us for your feature presentation. Please welcome firstly to the ring from Italy, Michele Picciarello. The wily, technically gifted, orthodox stylist from the edge of the Adriatic, Michele Picciarillo, who's been boxing for 35 years, ever since he was a little boy of four. Superb amateur, a proud professional. He's picked up a host of titles and even clinched world honours. 55 paid fights now, though, and it's a long innings, Jim. Yeah. But a genuine world-class performer, OK, at 39, he may be a little bit past his best, but at 39, he still has the ambition to travel abroad to pick up a title. He's used to being a champion, and he wants to be a champion again. Beautiful boxer on his night, Picciarillo. And now, five fans, the man you've all been waiting for, please welcome to the ring from Salford. Mr. Excitement himself, Jamie Moore! He always says, let's rock and roll before he enters battle. And if there's ever a night when he needs a classic, eye-catching performance, this is the hour. 
Salford Stocky, the classy southpaw, Jamie Moore. The atmosphere in here is absolutely electric, and the fans could play a big part. He's a passionate guy, Jamie Moore. He's been brilliant for the British game. Serious. Thrilling nights, but at 30 Jim, it's into the European arena, and it's sort of now or never. Yes, yeah, about time Jamie cleaned up the domestic scene a couple of years ago. He's been ready to move on to this level. Must be maybe a little bit of frustrating it's taken so long, but he mustn't bring frustrations into the ring tonight because he's facing an artist tonight. A cool head is required. He must set the pace. He must get in top of pitch really straight away. But make no mistake, this is a tough night's work he has ahead of him tonight. It's a terrific fight, and the stats are all important. Pitarillo in his 40th year, but he has the height, reach advantages. 11 stone, the light middleweight limit, of course. And the Italian with the experience, too. Since 1992, almost 400 rounds box, both could hit, but it could be a long drawn out affair and a hard one too. More seven to one on to win. That's quite surprising with the book. It's four to one against Picciarillo, even though he's operated in much, much higher class. Fascinating. This contest is sanctioned by the European Boxing Union in association with the British Boxing Board of Control. Your European supervisor is Bob Lodges from Belgium. Your steward in charge is Jeff Bolter. Your judges at ringside are Alfredo Garcia Perez of Spain, Roger Tillerman of Belgium, and Robert Verwees of the Netherlands. When the action begins, your referee will be Robert Del Pierre of France. This next contest is presented to you by Frank Maloney and Maloney.com in conjunction with proud sponsors BetDirect.com, Red Square Vodka, BBE Britannia Boxing and Danny Williams Plumbing Company. And now Salford and now Wigan. Get ready, fight fans. It is 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the European live middleweight title. Introducing firstly in the red corner, wearing the blue trunks with white stars, he comes from Italy and weighs in a 10 stone, 13 pounds. He enters the ring with an impressive 55-5 professional record, 50 wins, 29 of those wins coming by way of knockout against only four defeat and a single no contest. He is a former IBF World Worldweight Champion, a former European Champion at both Welter and Light Middle, where he is undefeated. Please welcome Michele Picciarello. <laughs> and we go across the ring to his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks and white trim. He comes from Salford and weighs in on the championship limit of 11 stones. He too ends the ring with an equally impressive record. 33 fights, 30 wins, 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout against only three defeats. He enters the ring as a former undefeated British and Commonwealth light middleweight champion. He is Mr. Excitement, but to his fans, he is known as Morty, Jamie Moore. This is 12 three minute rounds, boxers please. You respect the rule and the referee, okay? Make a good fight. Good luck. A mouth-watering matchup that has had the trade buzzing for a good few weeks. Not only is Gary Logan here, former opponent of Jamie Moore, but Matthew Macklin too, who had that barn burner with Moore, and Michael Jones just behind us, who's fought Second both down. Moore Round and one. Michele Picciarillo. Picciarillo stopping Jones in 12 in Italy. He's a world-class operator, and they've lost seven of 88 fights between them. Is the time right, though, at last, for Jamie Moore? 
Really intriguing one. Good left hand to start things going for more. Well, Pete Cirillo is a cagey character who likes to make full use of the jab. So Moore with the southpaw stance, the right hand to the body could be an important punch here for him. If he can draw that lead and thump the right hand underneath Pete Cirillo's jab, if he can take Pete Cirillo's jab away from him, the job is well down the road to being done. But very cagey, the gym has got him backing up straight away, which is what you want to see. Yes, if he flows and gets his boxing going and into a rhythm, Pichirillo can be extremely effective. Or trying to close the range. Doesn't want to rush in. Sometimes it's been a bit hairy, scary. Moore's career. Knockdowns early against him because of that. Patient. And closing the range down well on Pichirillo. That was low. Yeah, with a double left hand lead work there from the south by Sands. He doesn't want to be throwing single punches to this fellow. He will thrive on those. Combination from Picciarillo, who's really a back foot operator. And although he has operated at a higher level, he has been beaten fairly comfortably by the bigger names like Ricardo Mayorga and Vernon Forrest recently. Good uppercut from Moore. It's a solid start for the Salford man. This is a good start from Moore. Just has to be careful. He doesn't want to get straight into punching range and not punch. As soon as he's close, he wants to be getting the punches out. Don't worry too much about power in the early stages. Already has Peter Allen looking just a little bit disorganised here. A little bit uncomfortable. Good shot. Lovely left hand working a treat. He's switching a bit as well. Jamie Moore, he's not rushing in. It's a controlled beginning. And it's an impressive one as the fans start to rally around this cram pack Robin Park Arena. Expectations high for Jamie Moore. Peter Allen was hurt by that body shot. At the age of 39, you don't like those shots dug into your ribcage. Really looking disorganised now. Had to suck that up, Pichirillo. He's been floored several times through his long career. <laughs> and in his 40th year, great start for Jamie Moore. the earth. Imagine if we could start with a blank canvas. Mr. Des, okay. Lovely to have Coming a quality up. fighter on our shores in Michele Picciarillo and his trainer Sambu Kalabe, former world middleweight champion. But that body shot, good spot, Jim, first round for more. Yeah, well, a less than happy look on Pizzarello's face between rounds. This is not the start he was hoping for. Moore completely took the play away two. from him. It's the black boots and black shorts of the 30-year-old Jamie Moore. So popular in these parts, he's been waiting for two or three years for the chance to really accelerate up into... Higher levels. This the European like middleweight title on the line. And Michele Pichirillo goes oh, down. No. And it's been counted though, Jim. It's been counted by Robert Opia. It looked to me as though their feet got tangled up there. I didn't think the referee would have called that, but it's great for Jamie Moore's case. I think he was hurt just before that a few seconds. And he stumbled down. Pichirillo doesn't matter. Being counted. And it could not have been more of a dream start for Moore, who looks in fabulous condition and fired up for this. And he just looks too quick for Pichero at the moment. Lovely little feint before he goes to work there, forcing Pichero into making the first move. See, Jamie is a thinking fighter. He's equally effective going forward as he is going back. So Pichero is going to have to find something special to stop this match, I feel. Not just quick, he looks powerful tonight. 
Jamie Moore. A lot of weight with Kerry Kays to go with the boxing brain of trainer Oliver Harrison. Picharillo fighting off the ropes. These body shots, though, from Moore, stalking his man. See, Picharillo doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have the snap on his punches to discourage Moore, and he doesn't seem to be finding the speed to get himself out of there, looking very uncomfortable. Distressed look from Picharillo. Spot of blood underneath the left eye. He's been taken out of his comfort zone. Jamie Moore really finding the sweet shots early doors. I'm amazed at how oh, well that beautiful shot. Left hook, and down oh. goes Picharillo. In the second round, and that was a legitimate knockdown and a heavy fall. He was disorientated, and there's 45 seconds left in the second. And is this the night that Jamie Moore has been craving? Can he reorganize himself, Picharillo? A disastrous start for the former European champion. As Jamie Moore chips away, his accuracy, Jim, is wonderful. Yeah, because he can walk straight up to Pichirillo. Pichirillo doesn't have the power to discourage him, doesn't have the speed to avoid him. So you wouldn't quite know what to tell Pichirillo at the end of this round. Dream start for Jamie Moore. See, he's just walking straight into punching range. Nothing Pichirillo can do with that. He's trying to get his job working now. Left hook at the end of the second, totally and utterly dominant. Well, most predicted, a long, drawn-out, hard battle. What a first couple of rounds from Moore. See, I wouldn't have called that a knockdown. It looked to me more as though the feet were tangled up. But it's a dream because we have to count it a knockdown. See, I mean, look, that never should that have been a knockdown. I'm really surprised the referee called that. You can see Pete really shaking his head about the knockdown, but I think he already knew he had more to worry about than a knockdown, and this proved he had more to worry about. That was definitely a heavy knockdown. But you can see the kind of apprehensive look, what a beautiful left hand. The left hand is working so well for Jamie Moore. He's leading with it, he's doubling with it. Pete really can't find an answer. Panic already in the red corner. The Italian blue of Michele Picciarino in his 56th fight, 34th for Jamie Moore, former British and Commonwealth 11 stone champion. Lovely left hand. He again, just... it's the left hand lead from the south by stands. Picciarino, he's hurt again. He's hurt. And Picciarino in dire straits. He's trying to get his boxing together. But after the long, hard career, his senses are being scrambled, and more when he's on the prowl. This is where Moore wants that little feint before he goes to work, because Picciarillo is completely on the defence. With a little feint, let him make his move, then punish him. But Jamie is so cool-headed here. This is the round he got his last job done. More, but that was only for an Irish title. It's a huge leap in levels from that, Jamie Moore. But a fit and focused Moore is a really dangerous one. He told me this week, Jim, he's never felt better. Well, he's never looked better. I mean, he's badly needed this fight. I mean, he's dominated the domestic scene for several years. It was time to move on. I know how he's responded. I worried he might have lost the edge he had a couple of years ago, but quite the opposite. Picciarillo not doing so badly in this round, he's pumping the jabs out, he has an answer now. He's found an answer, so Jamie will have to maybe just get him under control a bit more. I'd like to see a little faint before he throws the punches. He's shown a big heart through the years, Picciarillo picking himself up off the floor and coming back. Left hook from Moore, again shakes Picciarillo to the head. Unsteady on his legs in the third, and the body shot, that was a that beautiful one! That's the a finish! That's a Picciarillo in his corner, and the gum shield's out! He's in desperate pain! The fight is going to be over, there's no way he's going to make this! Knockdown! Third round! The place erupts! Jamie Moore has his night at 30! He is the European light middleweight champion! He comes of age! That was absolutely sizzling. Adam, 
as soon as that body shot landed, the fight was over. You can see there was no way a 39-year-old man, teaching everything going against him for the first bell, was going to take a punch like that and recover from it. That was the perfect body shot. I reckon that body shots behind the elbow would do the job for him, but I didn't envisage a punch as perfect as that. Beautiful shot. Already he had knocked a lot of the heart out of Picciarillo. Dominated, just too good for him. We're seeing two men at the opposite ends of their career. What a great servant Picciarillo has been, but no way could you look at that shot. Just as soon as it landed, you can see him turning away, spitting the gum shield out so as he could breathe. As soon as that landed, no question, it was all over. Beautiful shot. Picciarillo has been stopped late in 11 by Vernon Forrest, but nobody, nobody in 56 fights has done anything like that to him. And it's not a one-punch performance from Jamie Moore. He dominated things straight from the first bell. He's ready to move on now. But the one thing I think that Jamie Moore has lacked in his career is a big name on his ticket. Well, he's got a big name now. OK, excuses may be made. Picture at 39, a little bit past his best. But no one has done that to him in that fashion. Tremendous performance from Jamie Moore. And no one deserves it more than Jamie Moore, who's worked so hard for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes and nine seconds of the third round. Picciarello haven't been counted out. Your winner by a second round KO. And new European light middleweight champion, Morsi Jamie Moore. After a topsy-turvy 10-year career, Jamie Moore, you finally get it right on this night. Feelings, can you put it into words? Not really, I'd to mean, you know, I've been screaming for the last three, four years to move up in level. And I think that's just proved that, you know, every fighter needs a challenge. For the last three years, I've been talking down there, bottom level, grinding out victories through lack of motivation. And when the motivation was there, you know, you've seen, you seen what it did for itself. You've had your injuries, your inactivities, and psychologically it's been difficult. What was different tonight? Your preparation looked spot on, you looked physically great, and your performance, Jamie, the best yet. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, motivation. Second of all, you know, top class nutritionist on board now, Kerry Kay's strength and conditionist. I felt so much stronger at the weight. Um, unbelievably strong, to be honest. And... Um, the other thing is, you know, I've been, I've been, um, <laughs> I've been sort of aching to, to move up in level, and I think once I get that bit between my teeth, I mean, I've shown it at five days notice when I first stepped in to fight Michael Jones, and um, I had that edge about me, and it, and it showed again tonight. Did you think you'd do it that quickly against Picciarillo, such a veteran? Well, I did. I, I wasn't sure because I wasn't sure how well the strength and conditioning would tell. I knew I felt great in sparring, but sparring finds two different things. But, you know, it paid off tonight. It's absolutely fantastic. You've made a statement. Can you go a notch further and become eventually a world champion? Well, you tell me. I mean, I'm sick of saying it. I, I'm, I'm, I've been world class the last two years. I, my performances haven't shown it because, I've, because of the lack of motivation. I proved it tonight and I'm well ready for world title shot. Bring it on. Wonderful, Jamie. Enjoy your night. Okay, Sure he will. Another man who's going to enjoy his night, Ricky Hatton. Not even you expected a performance like that. Nobody has ever done that to uh, Picciarello. I am so proud of Jamie Moore, and after all the ups and downs and disappointments of him, because as he said there, you know, he felt that this chance should have come much earlier. Absolutely splendid performance, and I think he moved up a level tonight. And, and in the way he prepared, I think physically, if you look at his conditioning, his physique there. He even raised his game in the way he prepared for this fight. And I think, you know, the, the proof was in the pudding with the performance. It was absolutely sensational stuff. From the, the very first seconds, you knew he was up for it. He did, yeah. We knew he was in with a 39-year-old opponent, so he's, he's keeping in his face all the time. He hurt him with several body shots in the first round, several body shots in the second round, actually, that uh, hurt him. But uh, obviously that one was just a cuffing shot round the head. But uh, you see the body shot there? That, that really set that up. I mean, obviously, that wasn't much of a punch, but the body shot knocked him 
really knocked him down. Good left hands, just kept the left hands coming, really, on the temple. Uh, but the body shots were absolutely um, absolutely wrecking Picciarillo, and that's what set up the head shots in the end. And look, and what was good about this performance, how patient Jamie was. We've all seen him, you know, um, he sets up a head shot, bang, back to the body, and the fight was over there. Delayed reaction, he went down. But how patient Jamie Moore was. Sometimes he's landed himself in trouble in the past because he's been a little bit too over-eager and gone in for the kill. But it was a real mature performance. And in the manner of his performance, I think, sh shows that he's, he's ready for the next level again, which is obviously a world title shot. I was going to say, how, how far can he go and, and how long before he defends his title? Well, obviously, there's some good names in that European top ten rank, but, I mean, you know, you're talking about world-class opposition that have beat uh, Picciarello, and nobody has ever done that to him, you know, and you're talking some of the, you know, some of the some of the pound-for-pound pound, you know, when you talk at Vernon Forest, you know, Covey Spinks, you know, and Mayorga, who's had wins over De La Hoya and people like that, you're talking not just world-class opposition, real, genuine, who have been at the highest of world-class levels, and Jamie Moore has just blitzed him there, and I'm so, so proud to call him my friend tonight. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.